Hi, I'm Timothy Manel, Senior Editor of APA's Planners Press. I'm here at the National Planning Conference in Los Angeles uh, in the exhibit hall by our bookstore. And with me is Rick Preetz, uh, FAICP, uh, author of the new Planners Press book, Lasting Value, uh, Open Space Planning and Preservation Successes. It is an optimistic book about what good planning can do uh, to help preserve some of the landscapes that we value the most. Uh, Rick, thanks for coming. Thank you. Um, I hope you're having a good time Absolutely. at the conference. Uh, yes. A lot of people at your session. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me a little bit about uh, the origins of this book and, and how you got into it. Well, I've been an open space preservation specialist now since I left public practice uh, back in 1999, uh, specializing really in transfer of development rights, but um, occasionally getting into other areas, but that's taken me to a lot of different communities where I see that the sprawl that's uh, taking over many of our special areas, including farmland and natural areas and open space, uh, is really hard for communities to come to grips with. Um, and the rate of that, of the loss of the uh, rural open space is uh, quite alarming, actually. Over a million acres of land, uh, rural land, are lost to development every year in this country. So with that, I also had the opportunity uh, and the honor of visiting some places that have ex excelled at open space preservation. And with that, started to dive into uh, what these, what these, the stories of how this all happened to these communities. And one of the really gratifying things that came out of writing the book was to see um, sort of a re-energized uh, reaction to the way uh, the planning process itself is really um, one of the success factors, if not the main success factor, to preserving open space. And by that I mean uh, the planning process includes the motivation and the uh, decision-making process that, that makes communities come together and realize that they have an asset that needs to be saved and then to take active steps towards saving it. Would you say that uh things are getting better, that people are, are more conscious of, of the importance of preservation and that more communities are, are buying into this and not pursuing growth at all costs? Absolutely. Uh, there are, as It's pretty inevitable that people start to realize uh, what they've got when they start to lose it. And uh, when you have growing areas that see some of their farmland uh, and open space uh, being uh, lost, Yes, it generates a lot of interest and a lot of activity. Uh, now, they have to take that obviously to the next step, though, and, and actually a plan for doing something about it. Right. Well, and your book is, is full of 20, it's 24 examples 24. Um, of, of communities that have taken different paths to do this. Right? Were, you, were you surprised by the variety that you found there? Well, uh, there is a lot of variety. Some of them started you know, over a hundred years ago, and uh, that was good for them because uh, uh, they got an early jump on things, uh, Minneapolis and Alameda County and um, uh, Contra Costa County, California, for example. Uh, and there they had, on the one hand, they had the advantage of a long time period to work on their preservation. On the other, though, they were using sort of old techniques. Right. Now we have uh, a lot of new tools at our disposal, and in fact, many of these 24 communities uh, were the pioneers of those tools. The um, urban growth boundaries, the various forms of open space taxation, transfer of development rights, conservation easements, conservation subdivisions, um, and the success stories are really, well, almost always, though, those uh, communities that use them all, mm -hmm. uh, not just single out a single approach. I see. So you've traveled a lot uh, to see these places, and you've taken taken lots of photographs, and the, the book is full of you, just fantastic uh, photographs, I mean, very, very high quality. Uh, I wonder if you can talk a little bit about that side of things. Have you? you spend a lot of time developing your photographic skills? Is it just something that you have a knack for? Uh, well, I, uh, I, I enjoy it. Uh, and, and I take uh, the photography seriously. Um, and so I 
lug this heavy camera around with me wherever <laughs> I go. These are not and, snapshots. <laughs> <laughs> no, and so uh, yeah, no, I, I just I just love uh, good photography. I, I can't say that I've I've achieved it, but I, I I'm striving for it all the time. <laughs> well, I, I think you've achieved it, and and readers can can judge for themselves. Uh, Rick Breitz's new book is Lasting Value, uh, available from APA's planningbooks.com um, and in bookstores nationwide.